what in the world are you looking at here? No, it is not some funky necklace made by some techie that he gave to his nerd girlfriend. She thought it was so cool that she put it around her neck and aged herself to death. No, that's not what this is. This is, uh, of course, ram, gold ram fingers. 50 grams of gold ram fingers. Placed around some common line for a weed eater. Now the idea is we want to use non-toxic chemicals, vinegar and salt, to strip the gold from these gold fingers in record time using air agitation and oxidize them, and I guess even more with uh, hydrogen peroxide. 3% drug, you know, grocery store type. So we'll be back when these are suspended and getting ready to uh, air agitate, see what we got. All right, sorry about the fan noise and that compressor, but oh well, you gotta deal with it. Normally I would never take off the front of my vent hood. Now, this is not a professional vent hood, this is a homemade. It works, it moves 400 CFM, you know, it does good. But we're not creating any toxic fumes here. This is just vinegar, okay, distilled vinegar and non iodized sea salt. So you have basically a buck, maybe, a, I don't know, 75 cents in that jar, you know, versus a whole bunch of hydrochloric acid. So we have these suspended, as you can see. You can't see them, but they're in there. And the solution probably will start turning, I would guess, start changing colors here shortly. And as long as this compressor holds up, then I'm guessing we'll start seeing gold uh, full separation probably in about six hours. Uh, that's my guess. So we're going to come back when this is cleared up a bit, if it clears up. We'll agitate these around from time to time. We'll pick them up and shake them around, you know, move their positions. That's the point of having them, uh, of having them uh, suspended online. It took all of four minutes to thread those, you know, 50 grams of gold fingers. It didn't take three hours. Three, four minutes. That was it. And look at the agitation. That's what we're trying to achieve is a real good agitation of the material. That's a good strong pump, too. So we'll see if it works. We'll be back, we're about a half an hour in. All right, we're an hour and a half in. Looks good. I would have added 200 milliliters of, between 150 and 200 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. It's not clear enough, so I must have an excess of salt. But I have, uh, I added probably another 300 milliliters of, uh, to, mm, of, uh, of vinegar. Okay, uh, and then, uh, you know, maybe it's just a really salty. Not overshot the salt, but so what? All right, we're about one hour and 45 minutes in it. Very green tint. Okay, which intrigues me. So we are going to lift up these fingers. Hopefully, don't spray here. Already getting separation. Look at that. Already getting separation. One hour and 45 minutes into the process using extreme agitation. Already separation. That is exciting. One hour and 45 minutes in. And we will be back about three hours in. And we're going to see what we got. I bet we have a lot. It's a good shot of the extreme agitation. All right, this is day two. We shut her down last night. I didn't trust that air compressor making it all night long. Uh, we, uh, same old, same old. I thought we was having separation pretty quick from the gold fulls, but nah. It's doing its thing. It's dissolving the base metals, as you can see by the color of the solution. We're going to let her cook. I figure what we'll give is a 24-hour period, and we'll see separation within 24 hours. We've got to figure out a way to speed this process up. You type too many resources, you know, trying to recover $5 on a gold. So. That's the, that's the purpose of this exercise. Let's 
set here and let her cook. We'll see what happens. All right, I think I'm going to break one of my own rules. <laughs> I do that quite a bit. <laughs> All right, as the object lesson here is to recover the gold off of these folds, off of these fingers, as quickly as possible. That's the go. All right, well, that, I pulled these out to inspect. We started this at 3.30 p.m. yesterday. I ran it with the air probably until 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m., so say five hours with the air. I turned it back on about 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, it's about uh, 10 a.m. now, so call it four hours. So we're going to call it nine hours under bubble, under severe agitation. And you see what I see. We're definitely getting separation, okay, of the folds. It's happening. They're coming off. Focus this stupid camera. You see the folds coming off? That is good news. All right, we're going to do the scrubber dub dub. Secure the air. We're going to see if this does any good whatsoever. Or it does no good at all. Look at that. Look at there. Yes, sir. A little... Just a little scrub. Just a little once over. That's all I'm doing. We kind of lost track of where I was at. We do have gold foals on the brush. Maybe a little more like this. There's gold folds in the pan. Now, that's it. That's all I wanted to do. We're going to put these back in solution. There's quite a few gold folds in that pan. Relative to what we're doing here. The experiment size. All right, idea number 464. There's no need of taking these out of the solution. I'm going to leave it right here on this, almost out of the jar. Get the scrub there. Because this is just vinegar and salt with a little peroxide. If you didn't have the peroxide in here, you could put potato chips in here. So you can get your hands a little wet, do a little work. It's all work in progress, people. Get a mighty fine separation now. And what's the problem of spending five measly minutes? Okay, five minutes during this process. Back down the solution. Turn that air back on. And now that's a proper scrubbing. I want to clear. I keep a little water down here as you can see and if you do get some gold folds down there then it's quite simple maybe set it right up in they go one little gold fold right there there he is there you go and everybody criticizes one uh, amateur chemist a pretty good goat refiner, Shree Tips. You know, because he one little drop of solution, he's saving it. Well, guess what? That's why he recovers more than you do. All right, plan change 469. But what we're going to do now is going to use my handy dandy little gold full recovery bucket here. We're going to remove the foils or the uh, the fingers. We'll put them in here in a strainer. And we're going to really scrub them down. All right. Took all the five measly little minutes. I didn't want to lay the fingers back down where all these uh, unwashed off gold folds have collected. Five minutes. And I'd say we have scraped off or we have recovered 50%. Not bad. All right, I went ahead and did a second second wash, scrub down. Got off probably the same amount of fulls with the first scrub down. 
This is all about trying to get this done within 24 hours, or close as possible to 24 hours. We're going to go ahead and filter this and uh, into my other hillbilly uh, reaction vessel. Get the foils out, filter the foils out, add new vinegar and an anionized salt, and some ammonium, uh, excuse me, hydrogen peroxide, and give it a fresh bath. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, get this filtered. We'll show you the foils when we're done. And uh, let's try to get this done in 24 hours if possible, or closest to. We have masses of gold foils at the bottom, and we're still going to do a second wash or a second uh, process with these. And uh, it's going to be a little different, the second process, a little different. We're going to get through this filter, and it's taken. This has been the longest process, this filter, which I figured it would be. All right, we really worked hard here getting that first filtration. We still got most of the gold fingers in this uh, original reaction vessel. I really took my time and used a pipette to get out la every last drop of that goo that's in there. All right, we've got, got these filtered out. We're mixing up our next batch of solution. We'll make sure this is clear first before we put it in. Yeah, it was a labor of love getting all that goo out of there. But I chose to do so. So I can keep everything in one filter for demonstration purposes. We got gold foils flying everywhere. We actually mixed the solution correctly this time. It helps if you do things correctly. Alright, the 24 hour clock is done ticking. So is it a big fail? I'll tell you what. No, it is not. I used to be a Democrat. That's right. That means I can change the rules without really changing the rules. We have recovered a lot of gold off these fingers, as you can see, in 24 hours. We are 70% there. But wait, here's the rule change. The rule change is that I did not have this on a full 24-hour extreme agitation as I intended because I didn't trust this pump you know, to make it all night long, so I turned it off. So we had a good 10 hour gap where we were not under agitation. So, in reality, it's not been 24 hours yet. And I still took another couple of hours, or an hour and a half at least, washing all the goo out of this, the gold foils, you know, because I wanted to. I want to put everything in one filter for demonstration purposes. So, you know, I took my time and I got all that goo out because I did not mix the solution correctly the first time. So we have more time. All right, we're about, uh, I'll say 15, 15 and a half hours in after my uh, former Democratic Party rule change. And about once every hour, been giving it this number for about the last probably four hours. And you see that I have taken it off the ring. I put about, I don't know, nine ml hydrochloric acid. Just kind of gave it a little bath to see if I could get a last little bit of that goo out if it did any good. So we're going to filter this solution out and we're going to inspect and see what we got. We're going to reuse this same solution and then uh, we'll be back. I'll, know. I'll show you what's in there. As you see here, a few outliers aside, my prediction of 90 something percent is absolutely correct. Take this down a little lower, and then we're going to put it in our handy dandy full recovery bucket because I don't want to dilute this too much. We'll transfer all the dilute uh, solution over here in this other hillbilly uh, reaction vessel. And we'll be back when we're done. You little outliers there. Most of everything is gone. Got a real nice bucket full of gold foils here. Not bad. Not bad with uh, eight and a half hours to spare. I put what was remaining back into the original solution or the second solution. We cooked up, I'm seeing gold foils floating around in there already. 
so no doubt it's going to separate those out. We'll lift those off relatively soon. There ain't much left, less than 5%. This here is over 95% of our yield for 50 grams of goat fingers. 50 grams of ram fingers, excuse me. It's not bad. And I knew extreme agitation would work because it's physics. And that's what I do for a living, by the way. So, so I just knew it would work. Less than 24 hours using non-toxic chemicals. And you have full recovery of this electronic scrap. Yeah, you're not going to make a profit unless you get these things down to each ram stick down to about 15 cents a piece and then you might have a shot. So this ain't about profit. This is about technique. And this technique works. You can have a theory, but you have to prove it for it to actually work. Working in physics, uh, how do you learn that? Then it has to be verified. And somebody else has to do it, and somebody else has to do it, and it has to work for them. There's no need for a big long-winded review. The gist of the whole operation is extreme agitation and the original uh, configuration, suspension of the product, of the medium or whatever you want to call it. So where he could gyrate around, it worked. Did it a little hands-on, scrubbing them down with a nylon brush. Very easy to do. And then uh, after your first wash, you take them off, you throw them down and into the solution. And about once an hour, give it about three or four minutes of this. A little hands-on. Never hurt nobody. And it works. 